Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. D's Tech News and Reviews. This video is in response to some of the viewers that wanted to take a look at the user interface that you find in the Netgear Genie router setup when you get the Nighthawk X4S AC2600. So when you first log in and you open it up, you get your basic homepage. Here you find the internet status, your SSID and password, how many attached devices you have, and you can check if your parental controls are on, ReadyShare is on, and if the guest networks are enabled. Next on the basic tab, you have the internet setup. And this is where you can put an account and domain name and set your IP, DNS, and MAC address. Next are wireless settings, where you can name your two wireless signals and apply your network key. On the next one, you can see your attached devices. On the next tab, you can enable DOS, which is dynamic quality of service. With this feature, you can set bandwidth priority to specific devices on the network, allowing you to have sufficient speeds on the devices you need the most. I'll get into how to set it up in a bit. Under parental controls, it will send you to the Netgear website explaining exactly how they work. If you have a USB hard drive connected to the router, the ReadyShare tab will help you manage it. You can also enable guest networks on the next tab. And finally, you'll find the Netgear Downloader Beta, which allows you to directly download files from the internet to a USB drive connected to the router. On the other side of this coin, you have the Advanced tab. Under this, the first option you will have is the Advanced Home tab in which you see a detailed view of your setup. The setup wizard is exactly what you would expect. It's similar to what you see when you first connect your router. Next, you have the WPS wizard, and just under that you have several tabs that open up and give you more options. As you can see, the setup tab is pretty much all the same content you found on the basic tab, with the exception of the WAN and the LAN setup. Next you have the ReadyShare tab, in which you can go more in depth and adjust the settings for your ReadyShare storage. You also have the option to set up your Ready Cloud, which is remote access over the internet to a USB storage device that is connected to your router, your ReadyShare printer, which lets you print to a wireless printer, and the ReadyShare Vault, which lets you backup files on your Windows PC. Under the Security tab, it gives you the same parental control option that was sent to the URL link. In the Access Control tab, you can directly block certain devices on your connection and see a history of devices that have connected to your wireless signal. Next, you can also block sites, block services, set a schedule as to when the site and services will be blocked, and even set up an email address to which you will receive notifications when someone tries to access one of these said websites. You can go further in detail and change advanced settings in the Netgear Downloader Beta tab. Under Administration, the Router Status tab is the same as the Advanced Home. You can see what is going on in the hood in the Logs tab. In the Attached Devices tab, it is the same as on the Basic side. Backup settings allow you to save a backup of all your settings for the router. Set Password is where you can change the login password for your router setup UI. And you can check for the latest firmware update here. I'm not going to get into the Advanced Setup tab. If you don't know what that stuff is, you shouldn't be going in there to begin with. Finally, so here you are on the Quality Service tab. If you click on the last option, it'll take you to the Attached Devices tab. Here, as I mentioned before, you will see all of your devices. At this point, all you need to do is click on any of the devices and it will open its own little set of options, allowing you to rename it, set its type, and choose how important the router should categorize its connection. So there it is. Hopefully this quick look into the Netgear Genie UI for the Nighthawk X4S R7800 will help you decide whether it's the router for you. Thank you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.